It was one of the most impressive Mid-American Conference wins in the modern era for Ohio University football. They painted it green and white, and they blasted past the Toledo Rockets again. 38-10 the final. I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. We're presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. We've worked together for 10 years. You came to games here growing up. You've seen a lot of football here. Our friends have seen a lot of football here. Uh, we've heard it from Bobcat fans all over via social media. Uh, a lot of people agree with the statement that I made to start this off. Wow, what a win and one of the most impressive we've seen. Yeah, really, you're, you've beaten the consensus number one team in the MAC coming into the season, and they had played that way all year. Their only loss, a loss to a top 10 ACC team, Ohio manhandled Toledo, period. Ran off a big run, 28-3 in the second half. A big picture led this entire game, and that's what maybe was the most unexpected part. You knew Ohio could compete here. Yeah. You knew Ohio could win. You never expected necessarily this. Uh, that's right. It's not an upset to win the game, but it might have been an upset that it was this lopsided in the favor of the green and white. We even asked Frank Solich in postgame about it, not about being surprised about the win, but the fact that it was that dominant, and he said, yeah. Yeah, no one no one ever expects that. And again, this is a game where Ohio had more turnovers than the opponent. Frankly, the first half looked like, a lot like the Central Michigan game that didn't go well here in this building a month ago. Right. That was what was so odd. Ohio got off the mat and played a completely different second half and ran away from the Rockets. Yeah, it was 10-7 at halftime? Yes, after being 7-0 virtually the entire half, let Toledo back in to tie, kick the field goal to go up. But there was, you were not comfortable. No one was comfortable against a team that scores 36 a night with a three-point lead. 28 to 3 second half. Yeah. And this team had never scored less than 20 all season. That's what you did to Toledo. Held in around 50 rushing yards. They were never competitive moving the ball on the ground. So, Ohio unseats the Rockets as the now number 1 in this league and is in the driver's seat for the Mac East title. But the highlights from this one first and bask in the glow of this big green light at Peden Stadium on a showdown senior night battle between the Cats and the Rockets. Here's how it looked and sounded. Very impressive. Trying to score first on drive number two of the ball game. And it's a handoff to A.J. Sweeping left, behind blocking, gets a push. He's inside the 10. Pyle still pushing inside the 10, down to the 5. Led behind Rourke, and it's a handoff to A.J. Dances left, turns the corner left, down to the house. Six for the Cats. Touchdown, Ohio. A.J. Olette just kind of found his way into that north side house. First and 10 at the Toledo 33, play action, Ward steps up, and he will throw to the right side, wide open, Cole caught at the 15, and he slipped down at the 10. Trips right, wide out left, back to passes, Ward just going to run up the middle, behind blocking, through a hole, hit near the goal line, down, and the end zone, six for the Cats, touchdown Ohio, Nathan Ward. Logan Woodside. Takes a snap, play action, steps up, he'll rifle it left side. Man out there, Deontay Johnson juggled the ball, caught the ball, ripped it away from Jalen Fox for six for the Rockets. And second down and a long three at the north side, 17. Work takes a snap, chest high, play fake, pump fake, pulls it down, lobs it to the right side, caught by Poppy, turns and dives to the pylon, but he went out of bounds. The Bobcats could be number one tonight. Out of the pistol set, it's Rourke, and it's a handoff to Dorian Brown, behind blocking, trying to burrow his way forward. He is near the goal line. He is in! Six for the Cats! Third down and short at the Ohio 45. And a high snap. Woodside back to pass. He will fire it left. It is caught on a comeback round. Then ball is loose. Picked up by Ohio. On the right side, Javon Hagen, right sideline. Sprint on, breaks it back left to the numbers and down at the 30. Louis Zervis from 44 near the left hash for the right-footed kicker. Snap back. Placement down, kicks end over end. It's trying to get there, and it did get there. Four-man front for Ohio. Play action, Woodside. Now a pocket's breaking. He's back at the 40 and goes down. Quarterback sack number three on the night. Rourke waits for the snap from Jake Preeze. Takes it chest high. He looks right. He'll throw right. Caught. Poppy wide on a crossing route. Angles left side. It's a track meet now, and he's running into Toledo territory. 25-20 to the 15. Pumps out of bounds. Inside the 15-yard line by Khalil Robinson. Uh, Rourke waits for the snap. Takes it back to pass. He looks right. Now a fire to the end zone. Caught on a dive. Six for the Cats. On Brendan Cook senior night. He reels in what could be a big time score to put the Rockets away. They're 8-1. They're 5-0 in the back.
on the doorstep of getting ranked. Back to pass Woodside, and he's going down, just like at half number one. Ohio dialed up, uh, dialed up a blitz right through the middle. Who got into the end zone on the last drive with the touchdown, and he'll hand it off to Brown through a big hole, bus free, and he'll sprint to the south side house, 4-6. Touchdown, Cats. So the Bobcats are now 8-2 and two and 5-1. and one. It is not outlandish to think that the Cats could get some votes in the upcoming Top 25 poll. Yep, certainly a real possibility. Toledo was on the cusp, essentially, in the also receiving votes area, 27, 28, 29, that region. And that's what's coming for Ohio, especially if they can finish the job in the East. That's beat Akron in a few days. Finish up strongly at Buffalo, and then go to Detroit, hopefully, to play someone. It could even be Toledo again. It very well could be. And from an individual standpoint, Dorian Brown loves playing the Rockets 356 yards in two games against them in two years and a couple of touchdowns, and he said in post game, he's not really sure what it is, but no. he loves it. He just gets up for that game, and Toledo recruits a lot of Pittsburgh kids. He probably yeah. has some buddies on, the, on that, side of the, that side of the field. 62-yard run, the play of distinction tonight that makes him our player of the game. And the defensive side, dialing up some early down blitzes. That was huge tonight. And, yes, Quinton Poling in his senior night made a couple of big plays. Well, yeah, he did. He gets another sack of 17-and-a-half career on that number. A big picture, Ohio took more chances on defense earlier on first down, not waiting for third and longs. And this Ohio defense held Toledo about two yards a carry, something like 23 carries, or pardon me, 23 carries or 52 total yards. Terrible number for Toledo. Big picture, this went really, really well. There's not a lot of this tape you want to set on fire. This went really, really well. Yes, it did. Put that in bold print tonight. It's not that catchy. It's not a bumper sticker. Well, but it is effective, and Ohio got it done. Akron's next. As of right now, we have no idea what time the game will kick off. After dinner. Probably, yes. And then Buffalo, and then hopefully Detroit, and then probably, uh, who knows? We'll, we'll find out well, about we'll polls. We'll go on someplace. We'll deal with that a couple Fun. times. Yes. Anyway, all that grand thinking you could think about here because that's the position Ohio is in right now. Driver's seat. These Bobcats deserve it. They are the number one team in this league. They have a chance to win the division and play for a title. That elusive one since 1968, but first thing comes first, and that's Akron next week. I enjoyed it, Robert. Thank you so much. A lot of fun. One of the best games in this building in a very long time. For the entire Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Enjoy, Cat fans. Ohio wins it 38-10 to over the Toledo Rockets. Bang. This is Bobcat TV.